Hey guys, it's November, which of course means that NaNo has begun. I'm really not okay with the fact that I'm not doing it this year, but I finally finished the first draft of the new project, so that's something, right? But November also means that it is now time for me to show you guys all the books I bought and or otherwise acquired in October. For a month in which I didn't do nearly as much reading as I planned, I still managed to pick up a lot of books. Oh, to read shelf. One day you'll be not empty but slightly less overflowing. But today is not that day. Starting off I had Cheltenham Festival which means I was ever so kindly sent the most recent books of my fellow panellists by their publishers. So I got Scavenger Chaos Zone which sounds super awesome but is the second in the series so I'm gonna have to pick up the first one. I also got Railhead which I managed to read just before the festival and oh man it's so great. I haven't read a proper spacey sci-fi book in ages so getting this was just what I needed. Side note, I had the absolute best time at Cheltenham. The festival itself was so fun and I am still so, so honoured to have been able to share stage space with such huge names in children's fiction. Made even better by the fact that all three of them turned out to be the loveliest and most interesting human beings and were all so very encouraging towards me both as an author and as a person. There's nothing quite like receiving writing and career advice from Chris Riddell in a pub at 10 at night to make me so thankful for the opportunities I've been given. Like, literally, how is this my life? Cheltenham Festival, thank you for letting me do all that, and please, please let me come back sometime. Anyway, moving on. Book post then moved to my next panel, which was YA Shot. I bought The Next Together and Vendetta, ready to talk about tragedy and doomed love stories, and god, that was a fun panel. If you ever meet Catherine Doyle, ask her about the dead gnomes, I promise you will not regret it. I really enjoyed both of these books and I'm very much looking forward to the sequels, especially after some cryptic hints during the panel. Yet more panel related book post, we're on to Stream Festival. I was sent the whole Flirty Dancing series so far by my lovely publishers. I've not yet managed to read the third, but the first two were really great. B and Ollie are super cute, and Betty's infatuation with Toby was like taking a look back at my own teenage years. God, so many hot douchebags. Why, brain, why? Anyway, I'm definitely gonna read the third when I get the chance, and grab a copy of the fourth when it comes out, which I believe is March, but don't quote me on that. I was also sent The It Girl by Egmont, which was great fun to read, and it was really cool getting to do the panel with Katie and Jenny, even if we did get sidetracked and talk about dogs for part of it. Stream Festival had a super engaged audience, like it seemed like a lot of aspiring authors and illustrators, which was really great to see. Also, any panel in which I can step off the stage and immediately get into a 15 minute conversation about fandom and YouTubers is a success in my books. Final book I was given in October is this super awesome special edition of Paper Towns, because I think pretty much everyone in Bloomsbury's children's department at this point is aware of how much I love John Green. I've already read Paper Towns, but this is giving me the perfect excuse to reread it, and look, it's got this really cool pop-out little paper town, how awesome is that? It's like a fancy hard case, and the book is hardback, and it's all pretty and awesome, and yeah, it's cool. In all of this I managed to buy myself some non-panel related books because I have poor impulse control. I got Lumberjanes because, duh. I also bought the second in the Magisterium series which I'm very excited to read and see where the series is going. Then I'm sure it will surprise approximately none of you that the last two are YouTuber books. Binge by Tyler Oakley looks so great and I am so so proud to be part of Team Internet and I cannot wait to read this book. And finally I got The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire even though I told myself I'd wait till Christmas. I couldn't resist. Similarly, when I got the book I told myself I'd wait until I had more free time to sit down and read it properly. An hour and a half later, have I mentioned the whole poor impulse control thing? This book is so, so brilliant. I love Dan and Phil, I love their videos, and this book is basically their videos but in paper form, and it's wonderful. Also, I didn't realise quite how long I'd been in the fandom until I was reading through like the early stages of Dan and Phil and realised I was there for most of it. I have spent more of my life on YouTube than I realised, but honestly they have outdone themselves with this book. Also, while this isn't technically an October book, a few days ago I was sent Six of Crows thanks to the lovely Nina at Hachette. 
and I thought that deserved to go on the end of the list because I've heard so many amazing things about this book and it's definitely coming with me to America. That's about it for my October book haul and as I'm about to spend the next three weeks in America the next one will probably be Christmas haul. I've filmed some videos to post while I'm away and I'll be back on December 3rd so you'll just have to deal with past Lucy for a few weeks. Until then, good luck to those of you nanoing, happy November to those who aren't and I will see you in December. Bye guys! Hey guys, so it is very nearly November and that means one thing and one thing only, NaNoWriMo. Back in the cover. <laughs> Why is this so hard?